but uh, we made it we made it through and i'm really happy that you're here and that you join in this uh, one consciousness class meditation um, contemplation however you want to call it um, one consciousness um, refers to uh, the one mind that we represent and in order to come in touch with that you will need to go within and um, that is what we're practicing here what we're doing and say the message so to speak is coming from that place not from anywhere else so joel in this chapter that we use today uh, given freely by the acropolis books uh, as a free gift to the readers um gives us the, the this time the chapter um it's like the middle path from spiritual discernment i think it's chapter six and um um it is a very full chapter it's a long chapter it's a full chapter like there's lots of uh, information in there and lots of themes going on at the same time but the main red line is where we always come where it always comes down to is christ realization like christ consciousness so today it was uh, a new start for me to like to to have this really clear in why we are actually meeting or what it is that i'm extending to you coming from that same place is where you can hear this and that is basically um, connected to the second coming of christ the christ realization of your uh, experience of oneness and um, so that is that's the the goal like that is the um, that why uh, the reason why we do this is to come together into that realization in coming to that realization and seeing like okay so what's going to be helpful to to come into a full realization of that it has no other goal like for instance to improve your human situation no that's not my concern and that's not the concern of this path and uh, so to try to heal or to fix or do whatever no that's not what we do either so in that sense it is very pure um, the reason why we meet is on a very high level in that sense it has nothing to do with humanhood in a literal sense anymore so it is it is okay we're we're ready to take an, the next step and that is leaving basically leaving the concerns about humanhood behind um, leaving the concerns with your own humanhood behind with your own ideas about yourself behind you know so that is um that is yeah that's quite a step that's quite an um high um place to meet so to speak that's a high goal to achieve and at the same time it's not high at all it's it's like coming closer to what is and that's that's basically the meeting place for us to coming closer to the place to discover what is because what is and you see that in the text too what is is where you uh, are that's literally the the place where you are real uh, all else that you made up is is a replacement for that so when you connect that can connect that to the idea of going within like in in this uh, meeting that we have right now um, we come together also to relax and to come into a meditative state in which we uh, which is very makes it very easy for us to to open up and to become receptive to actually what is being given in this moment as being what just is there what is already there and uh, so we don't have to create anything we don't have to achieve a goal or we don't have to make something up or to fix something no all of that is past is, is gone we don't need to be concerned with that anymore so that's the beauty of coming together in this class because basically it is a revelation for yourself it is remembering who you are and see everything that i share with you like i'm telling you not anything that you don't know 
you you might have forgotten it for a while but basically you know this that's why it's so great like i'm just voicing the words literally that you asked me to tell you to remember and um and that, that makes it very easy for us like you don't need to follow a teacher so to speak to to get that or no it, it might just be helpful to to um have some structure in uh, remembering it's like okay every week we spend some time together in the remembrance literally in the present remembrance of of this moment and um, everyone is invited that's why I say like, hey, all are welcome. Everyone come as you are, because as you are is, is really how I would love you to be and how I would love to meet you. So, and um, yeah, the great thing about meeting like this is too, that you can come into a, an experience of direct communication. And direct communication with your creator is not excluding anything and is also um, making it clear to you that you're actually directly communicating with your brother. So that means that if I come into a realization of this communication, and then suddenly you will start to feel that. It's like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on, but hey, I feel so connected, or hey, I can feel this, um, this light in my head. That is not uh, always, uh, that doesn't seem to be always there, but suddenly I can feel it. So this direct communication is faster than words. It's basically instantaneous and it's not anything uh, new to you. You actually know this. You actually are in a direct communication all the time. It is just that you have this, what you discover also in your meditation, you have this little chatterbox in your mind, like this, this, idea source <laughs> that is coming up with ideas about everything all the time it's very active and it's comparing and it's um, basically judging and it's um, yeah it knows an answer to all the questions and at least five or six maybe ten uh, answers to the same question and this is not helpful to you anymore so the part that is the chatterbox as i say is like that is just like a uh, distortion uh, channel and you don't need to listen to that in order to function and that's pretty amazing so this chatterbox is is just something that you can see when you meditate it's like oh yeah there's there's my thoughts oh yeah my thoughts are still coming up, but I'm not doing anything with them. I'm certainly not engaging in them. And um, actually, I'm starting to feel much better. I don't need to identify myself with what I'm thinking. I can just let it go. I can, I can literally train my mind to, to let go continuously. It is not helping me at all, the, 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 the thoughts that I think. So I'm letting them go. Then this other part that actually can decide about that is the part that is in constant communication. It know what it is. And it is right here, right now. You know, it, it is simply is. And coming deeper into uh, the experience of that makes it, makes it for you very easy to um, have a revelation of what is or to come into your, literally your Christ mind, your Christ experience. And uh, and that doesn't only feel better. It is no. It is who you really are. So it's um, it's worth taking time to get there. And that's why we're all here in this class. So you decided, to, yes, you want an ex other experience of yourself, and it's going to be given to you on a very in a very simple way. Basically, it is just by standing still, by relaxing, by becoming receptive. By hearing, uh, for instance, Joel's words um, in the chapter, or um, yeah, coming into a, um, the gift of whole ideas that are suddenly coming to you, and that you actually start to receive. So you you catch glimpses of who you really are, and that and that feels so good because it is it is like coming home. It is like oh yeah, I remember that. That's so 
It is so natural. It is so close to me. It is closer than my breathing. It is, you know, all of that. And um, so that's why we um, do this class and that's why we start to relax now. So maybe you can sit down and just, yeah, sit back and relax. Take a couple of deep breaths and, and just keep on breathing slowly, gently. And uh, so whatever arises is welcome to be there, but we're not going to do anything with it. Whatever arises as, as uh, thoughts or emotions, or that's great, release whatever you can. But uh, we're not going to do anything with, with those thoughts, or we're not trying to connect it to any situation or uh, event or person. No, we're just letting the emotion be what it is, the feeling be what it is. So are you already starting to relax and to, to yeah, not care too much about your own concerns that you were worried about a moment ago? That's lovely. That's lovely.